topics on CBDNN will be scientists discover two new cannabinoids. Does it really matter? Uh, breaking news, Tito Mbawemi. We're going to rate that dude's grow. Yeah, yeah let's rate Tito. his grow. Yeah. Um, no shits on it, guys, but we are going to have our hangout guest, joint cannabis consultants, live from Cape Town in about 15 minutes. And then we're also going to be talking about the first bar thirst agricultural show, Cannabis Cup in 2020 yes. with Chris J from we.co.za. Mm -hmm. And that'll be about it tonight, guys. So I rate, because it's going to be a shorter one, we're going to have to get extra grilled. Yeah. The oaks are rolling. I'm working on it. <laughs> working on it. But the story that came up this week for CBDNN, and I don't know, hey guys, don't even know what to say anymore, but we'll go there. Uh, scientists discover two new cannabinoids. THCP and CBDP demonstrate how much more we have to learn from studying marijuana. The plant cannabis sativa produces more than 400 chemicals, but only one, THC, gets you high. Or so it seems. A group of Italian researchers announced on December 30th discovery of two new cannabinoids uh, produced by weed, like THC and CBD. Yo, guys, let's try this together. I don't know. Try and spell go this. Good. Okay, the first, tetrahydrocannabiferol, With THCP, a yeah, is allegedly 30 times more potent than THC, they claim. Well, where the fuck is it? Well, this is what they're saying. Whether that means it gets you 30 times as stoned, or even psychoactive at all is still unknown. Well, why yeah. are they telling us? That's just like a sleeping pill. <laughs> That's fucking sleeping pills, man. It's 30 uh, times stronger than 20%. If they've been looking at this <laughs> since the 1960s, how come they're still finding things like a, a major cannabinoid? I th maybe More people. Than 400. Yeah, look, it's, yeah. You know, and it's like the periodic table. It's just getting bigger and bigger and it bigger is. with stuff. Element 115. And um, you're right, does it really matter? But what if that is the instant cure for AIDS? What if you stick some of that neat on your tongue and it all goes away? Something. Maybe it's a cure for something. The government. Maybe it's a well, cure for governments or stupidity or something. That would be nice. There's no cure for that. There's no cure for that, but it would be nice. There's only despair. There's only despair for that. I don't know what to say about this cannabinoid thing, but what I, what I did say with the tweet that I did about this whole thing yesterday mm -hmm. was if you're in a room and then somebody's telling you they know about medical marijuana, you can guarantee they know nothing about medical marijuana. That's exactly how I put the tweet out. Yeah. Because I've seen enough of Israeli high-powered doctors and people with massive budgets, the people at Canatech, all of them. Mm. The jury's out mm. for the whole lot of them. The more they look down the rabbit hole, the more it branches off to limitless possibilities. Of, Jesus, and then there's a flavonoid and a fucking this and then it's like... Uh. So THCP sounds like a date rape drug, drug at this point, doesn't it? THCP? I don't even know what to think about yeah, it. And also, right. Nigel says a good thing there. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, you are complicated, man. I can't read that shit. I'm blind. <laughs> but I, I honestly, I don't know what to say. I know, I know. There's a lot of research going into it, and you know, everyone feels like they have, need to have the new innovation mm -hmm. because once everyone sold all the Chinese CBD isolate, what are you going to sell then? You need the CBDP. CBD. Well, that's the next phase. What the about CBD, the AMC? All these things have no. to be sold. Because it's like, do you know what also I think it is? So every time we read in the laws about weed, they say THC and CBD and 400 other components. And I don't think anyone's ever made the effort. So I think it's all these scientists running to state their claim. Hey? Mm -hmm. And discover all these little things now. But is it the next biggest thing? I don't know, hey guys. We seem to be sort of studying well, the it today. Well, research is brand it, new, so let's it, see what they can do with it, and then we can make a, an informed decision on whether to be excited or not. Mm. And will it knock T CBD tea bags on its ear and become the next big thing? CBG. CBG. CBG yeah, that's Shh. going to be the next one. You reckon? Yep. What does CBG yeah. do? Fuck knows. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I want a doctor. Nothing. nothing. I want <laughs> good, good for stomach Line up issues. and sign the thing. I don't know. As far as I know, it's good for stomach issues. Okay, the, that's well, the cool thing about this plant is you can grow it as you grow a THC high high THC plant. You can mm -hmm. grow a high CBD plant, pretty much the same. I mean, there are a little bit of a few things you do change, but it's through and through growing a nice plant and, and gives you such variety, which is pretty yeah, cool. Really I'm, is I'm sure there amazing. will become a time when it will be on tap like a soft serve, and a micron of that, and a micron of that. It'll put it together if you gout or something. Like, a, like, a, a, like a perfume 
person mm, that makes perfumes at all. Mm. They say they got that oh, that standard. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Bog Aromatherapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Limonene and pinene bog spray. Oh, can terpene you, yeah. toilet. Yeah. Yeah. I think about this. Do you think terpenes are because terpenes are so strong, they can act as repellents, right? They yeah. kill bugs. So you can use a plant's terpenes to use as its own yeah. plant repellent. Yeah. yeah. Mineral oil. So they you take it. like a plant that's very, that it's just doesn't get pests, take those terpenes off that plant and mix that into some water, spray it on your other plants and you shouldn't have any pine. pests, right? Exactly. So you say we can because use... Because the terpenes are, are, the, are the protection, right. including the oil, but they're, they're the protection of the plant. They are excreted to protect the plant and to, yeah. yeah. The major component so in doom is khaki boss. Yes. Because of that very... There you go. Thing. Bring that in your, at night, around your bed, you'll never get a mosquito. Khaki boss. Grow khaki boss around your bed. Be Not grow it. <laughs> just go out at night and cut it and put it next to your bed. That's what I used to do. Pot cut plants. a piece, stick it next, under your pillow. <laughs> no mosquitoes. Interesting. Okay. So nice. let's keep a we'll keep a watch out for the THCP and the CBDP. It's all starting to sound like political parties. If you haven't decarboxylated well. it, is it CBDAP? Or CBDA, THCAP. I don't know anymore. It's tough to keep up, folks. It's like, it, honestly, honestly, in a way, it takes the fun out of weed. Yeah. You know, like, I know there's oaks who, like, are deep into their beer and eat this yeast and that, and they talk about how yeast can produce these kind of things as well, naturally, and all that. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, that for me, we were going to have the poll, and the questions were going to be, um, is CBD and all these kind of things still really that relevant in the big picture? I know everyone's going to squirrel for their niche. Mm -hmm. And there are going to be options like, yes, or it's complicated, or most CBD, mo problems. And I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't know what to say about any of it anymore. It's like cool and all, but I don't know. Could they please maybe do a study about how fucked up uh, prohibition still is in places like Italy and Spain? Because yeah, be while all of your oaks are running to stake your claim, it's, oaks are getting mummed out there, still mm -hmm. left, right and centre. So, mm -hmm. maybe somebody can spend a dollar on one of those studies for a change. Yes, we had such a cool bit of news from uh, Bathurst the other day. Because of all of the, the New Year expungements of records, yeah. Cyril did 10,000 of them. Yes. It looked like Ruloff, the guy that was the last man down, who went down just be prior yeah. to the judgment, like yeah. 10 days before the judgment. So he sad. got three years for, I don't know, 500 kgs or something. So he went down for three years, and he's a year into it, and we thought, we, people thought, told me that mm. it looks like he's the next one out in a couple of weeks, and, and we got amped, and we were going to do, fuck, how would we get, cover it, and it's a big occasion, yeah? Mm. yeah. No, I don't know anybody that's had a record expunge that walks mm. out the door two years early on weed, it's a fucking big occasion, mm. yeah. but now they're saying July all of a sudden, so they mind-fucked him for two weeks over oh, Christmas fuck. that he's getting out, and now it's... July, it's like, oh, maybe Chris can tell us a bit. Chris cool. is cool. Yeah, we'll ask Chris. So, guys, stay tuned. We'll be speaking to Chris from we.co.za a little later. Um, <laughs>